Guys, we have a big-time tag team match coming up here. A big-time match with big-time stakes, Michael. Neither one of these superstars can afford a loss right now. Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting teams ready to go here tonight in tag team action. And I can tell you that the entire tag team division has eyes on this match right now. That's how big this one is. Byron, what can we expect to see from these two teams here tonight? Michael, I fully expect to see these two teams put on an absolute clinic in tag team competition. That's how good these teams are. This is the one this crowd has been waiting for, guys. Tag team action coming up. I can't wait, Michael. Like this crowd, I've had my eyes on this match ever since it was announced.
There's no bigger way to begin a tag team match than with the world's largest athlete kicking things off. Doesn't get any better than this. We're about to witness tag team action oh. at its finest, fellas. But let me tell you, I've shook hands with the Big Show, and afterwards, I couldn't hold a pen for hours. Saxton, you're a liar. Jeez. The Big Show would never shake your hand. Crucifix head scissors. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. But I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. <laughs> Many people see the Big Show dominating WWE competition and think everything he's done in sports has taken place in a ring. Big Show actually played NCAA basketball at Wichita State and was one of the most intimidating players on the court. I can't imagine Big Show choke slamming anyone who is called for committing an intentional foul against him. Watch out! When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Wow, that won't separate your shoulder. That'll divorce it. Curtis Axel was able to get out of the way there. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got a tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss, maybe even more. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. tag team contest a superstar and partner walk up against another duo unless there's a special stipulation added to the match the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall submission count out or disqualification nailed it oh and she gets floored by that one yeah there's no staying on your feet after something like that in a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only she's looking at it. Ooh, here's her chance.
The Big Show is always a favorite to win the Royal Rumble, but he's never punched his WrestleMania ticket there after 12 appearances. It's the strangest thing. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Trying for something else here. Pretty impressive transition, if you ask me. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, nasty impact. I've called many of Big Show's Royal Rumble matches, Byron, and he's truly a force. He's eliminated over 30 competitors total, but always ends up a target due to his size. I think he's still hung up on his first Rumble. Look out, there's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. She's got that gleam in her eyes. Looking for the win. Beautiful technique, but is it enough to end it? Things don't look good for Curtis Axel. In order, will she win it here? She's not done yet. Not yet. I think she's trying to prove a point here. This will damage your back. She is on fire. This could be all. This might be it. Oh, my. She got all of it there. Oh, man. Curtis Axel is in trouble now. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them work... Oh, no. We know what this... What a hurricane! That's it. That's what she needed. She's clearly not getting paid by the hour. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible win. And we have our winners. Now let's take a look back at these ladies in action. Who could forget this? She's taking care of business. She left it all in the ring, and I expected nothing less. That's it for this tag team match, and what a thrilling match it was. To get the pinfall victory over such a high-quality opponent.